all funny. Nothing. No, nothing. Uh, well, it's not sad either. What isn't? Nothing. Are you the chaplain? Oh, good God, no. I, I mean, uh, I'm, uh, I'm D Dr. Griffin. Uh, just a few questions to ask you, Mr. Old. I've spoken to the sister, and I've already given the doctor a specimen. <laughs> so what's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing. The other doctor, he was uh, just a junior. He's still learning. I'm not having any learner doctor have a go at me. Last time I was in here with a splinter under my nail, look what happened. <laughs> Look, don't you worry about a thing, Mr. Old. Uh, the other doctor, he just asked you the boring bits. Boring? It's my life that's at stake. Oh, no, it isn't. Eh? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, yes, it is your life, but no, it isn't at stake. You see, I'm the surgeon who'll be operating on you. You're a bit young to be doing an operation, aren't you? Oh, certainly not. I could do it with my eyes closed. What? <laughs> Good day, Mr. Phillips. <laughs> Dr. Priest Waring here. Surgeon will be operating on you this hour, though. You're a surgeon? Uh, too right, mate. Bluey, copper. <laughs> what's wrong with your eyes? Uh, nothing, mate. Well, what's with the glasses? Uh, the sun. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's clouded over a bit. <laughs> uh, just, just a little bit shy, you know. <laughs> All right, well, that's it, mate. I'm not having you. I want to talk to someone higher than you, fella. I could stand on my tiptoes. <laughs> Uh, sorry, mate. Just like to have a little joke with the patients every now and again. No, no. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, just give the old uh, touch of the touch of the. That's it. Uh, don't, don't move too quick. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> there is something wrong with your eyes. They're all screwed up. Oh, no, mate. No, no, no. The uh, grandfather was half Chinese. Mr. Wearing, what's wrong with your eyes? Well, I told you there's something wrong. <laughs> All right, you first years, follow me and pay attention. Now, there's more to being a doctor than just swinging a stethoscope. Incidentally, those of you who haven't got one, get one. Medicine is about relationships. Not just, yes. Later, Sister Cummings. I'll be with you in a moment, Sister Cummings. Not only relationships with the staff, but also a good doctor-patient relationship must be established. Allow me to give you a good example. No, 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 I didn't say I was going to operate with my eyes closed. I only said I could. Didn't stop. Yes, you did, and you said it was boring. My life was a Mr. Cummings! Stuart Clark, get out of here! Never in my short but exciting life have I ever seen such behavior in a hospital before. You three have managed to wipe out in one morning what it took Louis Pasteur a lifetime to achieve. <laughs> Louis Pasteur didn't have to deal with Mr. Phillips. Do not interrupt when I am angry or I will get angrier. Don't worry, sir, I won't interrupt. Quiet! <laughs> now, in order to restore peace and order to Ward 9, I have had to personally promise to each patient about to be operated on that I will do it. And that you lot will be nowhere in the vicinity of the building at the time. <laughs> what do you think of that, eh? Well? You told us not to interrupt, sir. What? <laughs> now, as I don't normally do this sort of kid stuff that you think is surgery, and as I am also bloody expensive, I have decided not to charge them. Oh, that's oh, very that's nice of you. Indeed. Thank you. However, I will be charging you lot. <laughs> Out! Oh, sir! Out! Tell you what. One of these days, I'm going to accidentally let my scalpel slip and 
penetrate Beaumont's mediastium. Oh, dear. Yeah. Him a married man. It's in his chest. Oh, is it? Now I'm going to have to do an awful lot of overtime to help pay off his inflated fees. Yes, well, I'm going to have to pinch something really valuable. I wonder what the going rate for a lazy foot is. Hmm. Come on, it's going to have a few jars. Good idea. Well, I wouldn't reverse if I were you. No, just leave me alone. I'm perfectly all right. Yes, but there's a car... <laughs> Just behind me. Right! Now look, be careful. Now look here, you stupid. Gorilla Phillips? No. Gorilla Beaumont. <laughs>